Okay, everyone, what's coming up this month? And what did I get last month? Get ready, because here comes my latest pickups from July, and what's coming up on my channel this August. Bad days, entertainment rankings and reviews. Greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to y'all as the Big D. This time, it's time for some pickups. Not much, though, but I got a movie and three fun-filled music tiles. Actually, more hard and heavy than fun-filled. <laughs> and they're all from Walmart, so I'll start with my only movie. Despite theaters were closed because the pandemic, yeah, that's what a DJ calls it on the right, on the on the rock station I listen to. Well, one of the rock stations, the new rock station, you know. Anyway, and since even though I rented it, but I liked it, one of my five star movies of this year, Trolls World Tour. Yes. After I watch this again, I gotta say, I like it just as much. It's just as cute and fun as the first one. Anyway, we had good performances. Anna Kendrick, Justin Timberlake. Oh, everybody was really good. I liked all the other musical trolls. It was just so cool. And why have you? It's a great anime movie. I gotta say, it was just a real blast. Now for my for this, though I still kind of would like to resign from music, but I just couldn't pass up on this one. I got t three big tiles from from the five dollar bin at Walmart, and they're all of the same band. That's right. I got myself some mandatory Metallica. Got three good ones actually. First up is Master of Puppets from 1986. Yeah, this sounds pretty good actually from than what I had anticipated. Believe me, I hear the tile track played on our new rock station. They played the entire 8 minutes and 35 seconds of that song. Which of course I'm what is a fan favorite, I had heard. Yeah, fans liked Master of Puppets, which was, it's their favorite, every F Metallica fan's favorite, but hey. That's, but that's most fans, what they voted on. There's lots of other cool songs on here. I liked a lot of them. Yeah, all, all these songs are pre aren't too bad. Battery, and let's see. Damage Incorporated, and of course the instrumental Orion. Now, of course, this was also the band's last album with their original bassist Cliff Burton, who apparently died so young after a well a freak accident happened as their bus fell on him and what have you. You probably know the story. Why have you? Yeah, died at the age of 26. Yep. That's, yeah, I got that the air, well, when I got the Trolls one, but these are two I just bought not so long ago this past week. Here's my next one. This, of course, is probably the, a real pretty good one. And Justice for All from 1988. Yes. The band's first album with Jason Newstead as their bassist. Of course, he was formerly with the band Flotsam and Jetsam. Oh, this sounds pretty good. Now, of course, one is my favorite on this album, but hey, there's lots of other songs on here, like the instrumental To Live Is To Die, but we do get to hear wor words from the late Mr. Burian on here. Every lots of other songs on here are pretty good. Yeah, like the tile track and, and Blackened, which, of course, that's the name of their, the band's actual own label. Yeah, and Justice for All, pretty good album. I mean, it was their second best-selling album, selling 8 million copies, and I know um, that, well, their studio albums, of course, Master of Puppets, right behind it, 6 million, but I uh, hope a lot of y'all don't get mad at me. I, I got probably the best album of their career, The Black Album, from 1991. 
Yeah, I've been wanting to get this for years in YV, and I've just been turning it down. But when I found the $5 bin, I figured this was an offer I couldn't refuse. Wow. Why now, my herd? After it's been almost 30 years since this came out, I have to say, the, the Black Elm was pretty cool and what have you. Yeah, it has some pretty. It has those great songs. I'm sure everybody knows and enjoys. Like nothing else matters. That's one of my main favorites. Wherever I may roam, that's a good song. Sad but true, and of course, the Unforgiven. Another good classic. Oh yeah, and don't forget Enter Sandman, which of course opens that album up. Yeah. It's Metallica's Black Album, which has sold 16 million copies in the U.S. alone. I, I like it. I was going to get a load, but they were all out. But, hey, that was when Metallica fans just didn't quite feel too comfortable with or something like that. But, anyway, enough said about my pickups. Let's get ready for what's coming up on my channel this month. It's August. I had to make a few last-minute changes and squeeze in just a few things, but not a whole lot. So, let's begin. Now, tomorrow on the 2nd, I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite buddy flicks. And I know my good friend, the Diegler, recently did this with a friend of his. That, of course, will be Harley Davidson, the Marlboro Man. I figured, what the hey, I'm going to tackle that. Now, on the 4th, I know this has kind of been some time since I last saw this movie, but since my video collection's locked up in storage, but I saw this is on Prime, I'm going to finally get a chance to revisit this Hollow Man. I'll be reviewing it on the 4th in time for the film's 20th anniversary. Now... Well, these are going to be mostly my reviews. I do have rankings, but I'll bring those up later because those were brought up at the last minute on my schedule. Now, on the 6th, since even though it had its anniversary not so long ago, but that was just at one theater and what have you, but it's going to be some time before it at Actual, the actual real 60th anniversary of this comes up. I decided to do this right now. I'm going to be reviewing the Psycho series. Now, mind you, I am not reviewing the remake, and I'm not reviewing the Bates Motel movie that NBC aired in the late 80s. I've heard that is a, a, an abomination, what have you. So I'm reviewing only the original four with Anthony Perkins. Okay. If you want me to do the remake, I'll save it for another time, but I ain't going to review the remake. Mm -mm. Not yet, anyway. So, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to review Psycho on the 6th, then Psycho 2 on the 8th, Psycho 3 on the 10th, and Psycho 4 the beginning on the 12th. Next, on the 14th, now, there's this was kind of a last minute change. I've was going to review on the Disney Plus movie, but it's been rescheduled. So in its place, I will be reviewing the Lizzie McGuire movie instead. Now, I hope you don't mind. I'm, I've somehow learned that a certain Hilary Duff, of course, that's the title character that their movie, has actually been, well, comment on my... Well, a couple of my friends' reviews of her movies, um, I mean, so I'm giving out a little bit of a special shout out to Levi McNally and Malcolm Cooper, the movie Wizard of Oz. So, if they're hearing this, I hope they can let Miss Stuff know that I've decided to review one of her movies just because I want to. Doesn't answer a response, y'all. If she, no, 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 no. You'll, you'll know what I'm, you know what I'm saying, okay? Sorry. How about covers? Okay. Now then, for the 16th, I'm going to be doing the Prom Night series, except the remake. Now, last year I did a back to back review of the first two movies. However, on the 16th, I'm going to do a special re review, of, well, solo re review of the original Prom Night, since its anniversary is not too far away. So I'm going to be celebrating the 40th anniversary of the original Prom Night early with Jamie Lee Curtis. So 
So that's going to be good. On the 18th will be a solo re-review of Hello Mary Lou, Prom Night 2. Then on the 20th, I will review Prom Night 3, The Last Kiss, and Prom Night 4. Now, in between that, on those two, on the 21st, this was supposed to be on the 14th, but since I it got rescheduled, on the 21st, I'm going to review... Excuse me, sorry about that. The new Disney Plus movie, The One and Only Ivan, which this was another Disney flick we were supposed to get in the theaters. Now, sorry, we have no word on the new Milan, unfortunately, but, well, well, that's another story. Okay, then on the 24th will be another anniversary review. I'm going to be celebrating the 30th anniversary of Sam Raimi's epic hero flick, Dark Man. Then the following day, I will be celebrating the 20th anniversary of Bring It On. Now, however, I won't be reviewing the sequel, so that'll be for another time, because I've only seen those once or twice. And then on the 27th, I will continue the Dark Man trilogy. I will be reviewing Dark Man 2, The Return of Durant on the 27th, and... Dark Man 3, Die, Dark Man, Die on the 29th. Now, I've confirmed three special rankings. Now, since I've been watching Disney Plus a ton, I decided I'm going to do some. Now, I've done my few, well, first few, well, well weekly watch Netflix on Letterboxd. But I said not to do those. I'm too overdue for those. But however, I've decided, since I recently finished this earlier this week, I'm going to give you my Disney Princess Flicks ranking uh, on the 3rd, since I've now done that. So I hope you'll be ready for that. On the 15th, I'll be doing my first half of 2020 flicks that I've seen. However, I'm going to have... There's one more movie I forgot I forgot about that I was going to try watch. So I'm probably going to be fixing that, ranking up. And that'll be on, on the Disney Plus movie Star Girl. But I'll be trying to squeeze that in and fix it up. And that way, it'll be officially ready. And on the 31st, since I started doing this, but I've eased down a little bit just because I wanted to do my high school musical reviews and celebrate five years of Descendants, I'm going to be ranking all the, Di all the Disney Pixar flicks. Now that I've finally seen the four I had not seen, which those were Brave, The Good Dinosaur, Wally, -E, and Monsters University. So that means I've now seen all Disney Pixar flicks. I decided to go ahead and rank all these, just in case they try to reschedule Soul again. Which is now being confirmed for November. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Enough said. Okay. Now what did you think of my pickups? And what are you looking for? What review or ranking are you looking forward to seeing on my channel? Please feel free to tell me in the comment section below. If you like the video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel as well, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Oh, I also want to give a special shout out to another great YouTuber, Groovy Entertainment. I've been checking him out. He's gotten some pretty good vids and what have you. I mostly have been checking out his old books and books on record and what have you. That's um, where it gives us old books and recordings from long ago. Uh, that's something I always would like to take a walk down memory lane and check him out. Uh, even though it's mostly ones I never owned, but hey, I'm cool with that. So, don't mind me giving you a shout out. Anyway, thanks for watching, Al. If you liked this, you can check out these other vids I recently did. In the upper left hand corner is my review of High School Musical 2. The upper right hand corner is my review of High School Musical 3 Senior Year. And the bottom left hand corner is my recent ranking of favorite. Disney's Descendants songs and characters. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, video games, music, etc., then I'm your guy. So join me again next time when I bring to you my Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man review. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.